looking to switch things up and incorporate another veggie into your cooking, consider asparagus. It's versatile. It's a vegetable. It's in season now. Chef Kelsey Murphy is here to show us two ways to use asparagus besides just grilling it and roasting it. And you brought a little helper. I brought a little helper. He's snacking on some gummies right now. It's but, Lucas, you know, right? It is Lucas. Lucas, yeah. you're adorable. He's, you know, he's made an appearance quite a few times on here. So. Does Lucas like asparagus? He does actually. Wow, yeah. as a child. He was even. snacking on this pasta earlier, Ooh, so he loves it. Pasta snacking. What yeah. do you got? So we are going to use um, asparagus a couple different ways. I love it. Obviously, in spring, it like screams spring. It's in season, but it's also on sale a lot, so okay. you can get it a lot cheaper and start using it so in now's different the ways. Time. Now's the time. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're using it in this pasta, and we're going to make a pesto out of, um, oh, don't choke on your gummies. Yeah, because <laughs> um, it looks like regular pasta. It looks like regular pasta, and it, asparagus adds a great freshness. It's a great kind of almost like filler for a pesto, which can also be really expensive to make because okay. basil is really expensive and nuts are expensive. Yeah, I just buy the store-bought. Yeah, so in, we can make it fresh really easily. So what I've been here already is I have some just quickly blanched asparagus. What so does blanched, blanched mean? So blanched nothing. it means that I boiled some water okay. and then I put the asparagus in there for about two minutes. Okay. And it really brings out that like bright green color. It is pretty. Yeah, so and it shiny. looks a lot, yeah, it looks a lot brighter. Um, and that just softens it too, just a little bit. And then to that, we add a bunch of herbs. So here I have some parsley and some cilantro, but you can add whatever you have. So mint works, basil, a mixture of all three, do whatever you want. Do you have one really strong arm after I do, all this? I have a really strong, <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's okay, it's okay. I have a really strong left arm. I only <laughs> hold my kids with my left arm. That makes sense. Then we're adding a bunch of pine nuts, about a half a cup and then about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then I'm gonna get you involved. Oh, fun. You're gonna squeeze this lemon. I'm gonna squeeze a lemon, Lucas. What do you think about right that? Right in there. Don't squeeze it in your eye. There you go. We don't have electricity on this baby, yes, do we? Yes, we do. Oh, we do? Fun. We do. <laughs> Good job. And workout. then all we do is drizzle a bunch of olive oil into it, about a third of a cup. That does look good. Yeah. And it's then put the old Cuisinart top on her. Yeah, you just, that is. and then you just let it go. There you go. It's got a good, good beat. That's all she wrote. That does so look so much better. You just let that go until it turns into this. The, the pesto. This is the that. pesto, and then all you do when you want to finish it is you pour that into your finished um, pasta noodles. Which really pretties it up. Yeah. And it turns into this. And it turns into that. And Super I don't even simple. like asparagus, so we'll see if I like this. Yeah, you can add that, and you can add protein. You can finish it with a bunch of extra asparagus. Tastes great. Yeah, shrimp goes great with it. Some grilled shrimp over top. Yeah, I wouldn't it's know. Easy. You would never know it's Just asparagus. Just don't tell me, I'll be good. Yeah, and it's a great utilization of it. It's super pretty. Um, we got about a minute left. Okay, I see pizza perfect. over here. Yes, we got a pizza, a flatbread, a pizza, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is another secret use for asparagus. Most people would never know that you can use it in its raw form. Okay. Um, and obviously you don't want to just go and like snack on a thing of asparagus because that will be a little, this is pretty woody. Yeah. So you want to get it into these ribbons. Um, so it's really nicely shaven. So what I've done is I've taken this vegetable peeler. Oh, it's kind of like a potato peeler. Yep, it's just like a potato peeler. And you just take it and you just Ooh, that make little really ribbons. Nice. Do you not go too far down into the... You can go as far, you can go all the way down. Oh, okay, Yeah, cool. you can go all the way down. And it doesn't take very much to just get this um, into this consistency. Then what do you do with it? Just top it on So that? yeah, so what we're going to do, oh, you get to squeeze another lemon. Oh, fun. Here you go. I'm totally out of time, but oh well. <laughs> You're like, we're doing it. <laughs> on this? Uh, right on in this. here. Yeah. Center that up very well. That's perfect. And Thank then you. you just toss that in there with the little cheese and the little um, lemon juice, and, and this goes sort of. over top of the pizza. So it's like topping an arugula over your flatbread right as it comes out of the oven. It looks pretty. And when pretty. it's hot, it kind of melts that cheese, um, oh. and then you slice it and eat it with the pizza. And it just all it's goes together. Delicious. All right, you did a great job as usual, and so did you, Lucas. Thanks. Yeah, he did all right. He well hung out done. for a little bit. All right, here's where you can find the recipes. All you have to do is go to fox59.com slash link.